Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I hope you guys are doing well. From Livingston, Texas here at the Rainbows and Escapees Park. Uh, still no update on Tater Talk getting, getting her registered or anything. So I have decided to uh, take off in the smart car today. That's just something uh, Jax and I did a couple months ago when we went up to Chicago in the car. So we're going to be car camping. I'm, we're going to get a room, obviously, but uh, I want to go to the beach, probably down to Galveston. So just getting everything set up here for uh, one day. I got Jax's uh, food and water here in the front. He's got his passenger seat. I removed the speaker, the uh, sub speaker, which is really easy to do. Got Jax's litter box. I got a cooler uh, Coke Zero there. I just need to get some ice. And this is my backpack with my laptop and all my gear that I need for uh, one night. So just got to grab Jax, lock up the RV. Uh, like I said, probably probably fuel up, get the ice, and then we'll go head to the beach and we will go on a uh, quirky search together today here uh, in and around Galveston, Texas and on the way down there. So uh, thanks for joining me, guys. Be uploading this video with Nomad Internet link below in the video description if you need some. You ready to do this, buddy? You ready for a little adventure? It's about two hours to the beach, okay? Yep, we're gonna do this. We're gonna. All right. And we're still looking for service. I have no service here. There, <laughs> no internet, no nothing in Livingston, Texas, because again, they think that cell towers will kill them here. So I have to get on the road a little bit until my Google Maps works, of course. What are you doing back there? You wanna come up to your seat? That's your litter box. Yeah, I put it back there for you. You wanna come up here? You wanna hop up? Okay, well, we're gonna get going. I'm gonna put the seatbelts on. No, don't poop right now. You don't need to... Dude! Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Cover it up, please. Just a number one this time. Just part of cat life, I guess. You feeling better now? All right, can we hit the road? Is it safe to hit the road now? All right, come up to your seat, please. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. All right, made it outside the uh, Livingston city limits here, out in the country where we have service again. Oh, I'm so thankful. <laughs> got my ice at the gas station, got two new subscribers at the gas station because of the logo on the side of the smart car and that brought them over to meet Jackson and everything. So that was awesome. But Jackson, I've got two hours of driving straight south to get to the uh, Gulf of Mexico. So I'll hit you back when we get there. Bye guys. Aw, Jax, look at the happy horsey going for a ride. A little smiling Texas horse there for you. Going for his little joggy poo on the freeway. All right. Well, Jax and I just made it through Houston, so we're about halfway to the Gulf. And I'm going to get off the highway here and just grab a bite to eat real quick because uh, I'm kind of starving. Didn't have breakfast. I'll see what they got for kitty cats, okay? They might not have anything for kitty cats, but, I'll, but I always check, okay? All right. What can I make for you? I get a 20 piece McNugget with barbecue sauce and a large fry, that's it. I ordered some extra chicken nuggets for you, don't worry. We got the kitty covered. Yeah, as long as they're not too hot, I'll give you a couple nuggets, okay? All right, man. All right, I'm gonna sit on the tailgate of my smart car and, uh, well, we don't have a very nice view. We got the litter box there. I could probably cover that, but I gotta wait till one of these cools off and then you can have a piece of chicken. You wanna, you wanna fry? You can't just lick it, I don't got all day. All right. A little bit of chicken for you. It might be so warm. Was okay? Okay. Well, that was scrumptious, wasn't it? Jax pretty much had an entire chicken nugget, actually. What a putz. He's just a spoiled putz. I even brought a canned food for you tonight, okay? Or for the morning, okay? And luckily for us, it's not uh, too hot today. It's 62 degrees here in Southern Texas. It's like perfect weather. I mean, it feels like 70 when you're out there, but uh, yeah. All right, well, let's finish the other half of this trip and get on to the ocean, the Gulf. All right, well, we can't go much farther. Oh, wow, look at that. I know that yellow flag means something. Actually, I think there's a key right in front of it that tells us exactly what it means. Something about wind, I, I believe. Yeah, we have reached as far as we can go. Now we have to go east or west. I'm gonna turn left. This is called Seawall Boulevard here. I don't see any RVs. No, but we'll park somewhere. Get a load of this, everybody. Free parking immediately. There is no charge to park at the beach in Galveston, Texas. Look at this. It is definitely cooler here, a little windier. Uh, I, I'm not gonna bring Jax out right now because he hates the water, 
and the wind and he got the road noise he'll be able to explore more later but this is not exactly his type there is quite a large uh, drop off here at least 12 15 feet so we'll go ahead head for a safer spot to the beach all oh, those palm trees make me smile hey there's a rainforest cafe across the street wow that's cool all right the uh, yellow flag waving up there that means it's relatively calm to moderate water does not assure safe water so it's not green it's yellow we also got red purple and orange so we should be okay galveston island beach patrol but don't do anything stupid while you're here guys actually there are no lifeguards on duty this time of year huh isn't it i don't know where do all the college kids go for spring break i would think this might be kind of popular i don't know what week they celebrate spring break down here or anything or if they even went to school and it matters <laughs> i don't know oh i can breathe so well in southern texas this is awesome weather hello gulf of mexico oh wait i, I gotta hey ocean how you doing ocean awesome i love the ocean here <laughs> oh my gosh if you're a shell collector you'd be in heaven look at all i mean they're all whole too they're not broken some good shells here i have no idea what that is some kind of sponge and i'm pretty sure that's part of a banana well, i've got uh two hours before jackson and i can check into our motel here kind of late uh four o'clock is when you check in seems really late and then check out is 11 the next day but however the room i got i don't know how good it's gonna be i've stayed at these before but i got it for 38 bucks the rv park down the street is 79 dollars a night to park your own rv on a piece of concrete so it's like half the price to use a motel's amenities and waste their towels and their hot water and stuff so yeah it's Generally speaking, I know that doesn't make any sense, but in these high touristy areas, it is almost always cheaper to stay in a motel than it is to get an RV slip somewhere. Almost always, half the price even. But we'll see the beach later. I don't wanna leave Jackson in the car alone too long. So let's go explore and see some other quirky stuff here in Galveston. Oh geez, here comes the fun police. They saw me smile. They saw me have a good, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll go back to suffering. <laughs> well, even if you don't like it, you have to admit the beach is awfully pretty here. Let's go down a little farther. If there's anything quirky, we got to stop at, okay? That sound good to the kitty kitty? Anything else? Okay, you just watch the catitude, though, okay? Watch that catitude for me. Wow, so a little bit farther down the boardwalk here, there is this beautiful statue. Um, looking for a label. I think he's praying to the heavens or something, right? or waiting for rain i'm not sure let me let me look around I'm sure one of these plaques says something right all right so i got some information about this statue right here there was a major catastrophic hurricane uh, in the year 1900 yeah that was a long time ago uh so this was resurrected in in 2000 so to commemorate the 100 years of that and then of course in 2008 there was another major hurricane here on in galveston in texas and uh this statue survived Although a lot of the surrounding area just got pummeled, but the statue survived the 2008 hurricane, so they must have built it really well. Oh, wait a minute. Across the street, I see a souvenir shop, a beach store. I'll bet I can get my Galveston magnet in there. Let's go get that first. Okay, I'm not going to take the camera in there, but I'm going to go check it out, Jax. I see like beach towels and sunglasses and stuff. I just want something, a magnet that says Galveston. Let you know what I find. All right, and there is the magnet that I picked. It's a three-dimensional. It's got that little anchor there kind of built into the gloss, and it says, life's better at the beach, Galveston Island, Texas. You like that one, Jax? That's a pretty good one. Pretty good, good. You like it? Okay. Okay. You know, I've heard about this. I've always wanted to do it. Galveston has a beachfront carnival there with all sorts of neat rides and I'll bet some pretty good hot dogs and food and might be a great spot to spend a nice afternoon. But uh, it is still here in 2021 closed for you know what. Not because you can't operate rides during these times. We have proven that. <laughs> but hey. Every city, every county, every state is different and they make their choices for their own reasons. I don't know when they'll open or if they ever will reopen. Everything's just temporary here, remember? Yeah. But Jax, I didn't get to go on any rides. Well, actually, Six Flags is open here in Texas. They have some other parks here. I can just go to Six Flags where magically rides can be operated. I don't know. Oh. 
Still got some time to kill, so I'm just gonna kind of float around the coast here, uh, waiting for Jax to do the number two back there, because I know it's gonna happen before we get checked into our, our room. Not that I'm trying to push him. That's... Remember on the Home Alone trip up to Chicago three times? What a, what a butts with the butts. A big cute butts, you with the butts. Yeah, okay. Man, quit it, Dad, I'll bite you. Okay. And is it me or does it sound like I've slowly just kind of adapted Tucker's voice that Camper Van Kevin has for him? Like, when did that change? It just slowly started getting closer and closer to sounding like Tucker. Now Jack sounds like Tucker. I gotta work on that. Sorry, not trying to steal your, your voice, Tucker. <laughs> Porky, we got Shark Man Surfboard Man. He's checking out all the tasty humans out there surfing, licking his chops there, advertising uh, Beach Break Maui. I guess that's the name of the store. Yeah, Beach Break Surf Shop over there. He's also advertising $10 all day parking behind. Why would we, why would I pay to park when you could park for free right? Wait a minute. What does that sign over there say? Pay by phone? Wait a minute. Have I been wrong ever since I got on Beach Boulevard? Has it? I think you do have to pay to park over here. Luckily, I've just been stopping real quick. Oh, that's funny. I I'm sorry. I think you do have to pay to park. Ah! I'm gonna go grab a chocolate frosty real quick. Don't know if their lobby is open. I might have to take the car through. COVID-19 hours, dining room closed. Yeah, you have to take a car. And that sucks for like truckers and RVers and people in big tall rigs. These places uh, don't let you get food unless you're in a car. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That hits the sugar spot. Oh man. Jax, you wouldn't like it. It's delicious. What do you think? I know where you're going first. Yoink! <laughs> you know, the, the uh, few times Jax and I have been unable to stay in our RV for whatever reason, or if, if we chose to, we always seem to choose a red roof because no matter what, everywhere in the country, every one of them is pet friendly. No, no questions asked. You don't have to fill out a special form. It's just automatically pet friendly. Although they do ask you when you check in. And you know what? Although this is only a two-star motel here in Galveston, this is the nicest red roof that we have ever stayed in. It is clean as heck. It's bright, it's clean. Look, even the sink is clean. A clean bathroom with unlimited hot water in the shower. You can check that out, okay? And then a huge living room with a microwave. I'm gonna turn this on and fill it with some barley pops. Little fridge, is it on? No, it's not even on. Darn it, why do they always do that? Don't they know it actually takes more energy to cool it when it's not on than it does just to maintain it on for one night when somebody's not here? Nice big, that's at least a 40 inch TV here. So that's cool. Got my little office space and uh, actually, I did have to bring my laptop. I have some plans that I gotta have Wi-Fi, so I brought my Nomad internet and everything because I do have to get some work done that's a little bit outside of YouTube tonight, so. I will get that done as well as editing. We've got an air conditioner. So, you know, not bad for 38 bucks a night. There you go, what do you think? Is that gonna work for, oh, it passed the Jack's inspection. This is a good room. This is a good room. Okay, guy. Right back, I gotta bring in a couple more things. Got my card, got my card, okay. Um, yeah, maybe one of the reasons why it gets two stars is because one of the main selling points was the pool. I brought my swimming suit and um, Red Roof has decided to close the pool for the season. Although it did get really cold here during that storm in February. Um, it looks like it should be open, but like I said, it is closed until further notice for the season, whatever that means. I got the uh, corner room, so tater tot's pretty close. I'm gonna finish unloading and I'll get back to you. It's my motel stable. Domino's pizza, pan size, with pepperoni and bacon. That is, that is a weak looking pan pizza. Why is there nothing on these ones? 
I'm gonna throw it on into my belly. It is my staple though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little trick on Jax here later. I know it's been done before on YouTube, but I've never tried it on Jax. So I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna fake my death. I'm gonna fake cough. I'm gonna fake cough on a, on a piece of crust here and uh, see how Jax responds. This is a tasty pizza. Man, I love this pizza, Jax. Oh, that was very cute. Were you worried about me? Do you really love me? You were worried about dad? That was cute and precious. Some kitties just walk away. Next time I need you to actually call for help, okay? At the door, you go, meow, 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 meow. You want a treat? You're a good boy. You're a good boy. All right, I'm stuffed. I ate half that pizza, so got a snack for tomorrow before we leave. Uh, I showered. I'm still waiting for an email response back here business-wise, so uh, I'm gonna lock up here and uh, go walk over to the beach before it gets dark. Let's go check it out. Maybe uh, another reason why this is just a two-star motel is because it is still today uh, listed as beachfront. As you can see, these uh, condos over here are definitely blocking the beach view. And there's a big gate there now. And to be honest with you, I still don't know how to get to the beach. This is all locked gate with these new condo apartments. So I'm gonna choose to the left and say we go around that last building to get to the beach. But I'm just kind of guessing here. I don't know for sure because the office here at the motel is all locked up for you know what. You can't talk to anybody. Everything has to be done online. Those are some bright condos there. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Aw, look at the little baby palm trees right here. Awesome. Oh, okay, here we go. And there's a crosswalk and a light. Perfect. There's the beach. And a button to push. Awesome. Look at that sunset color over there. That's oh, great. I definitely did not bring everything I needed for this little day trip. Well, two day trip. I didn't bring a coat. I didn't bring any long pants. And uh, with it being, I think it's like 58 degrees right now and windy, you can never tell because like I keep saying, this mic, you don't know how good this microphone is. You've seen other people try to film out at the beach. No, this, this microphone makes it look sound magical. But I did bring a Bud Light, so I kind of got some bases covered, right? Gosh, it is so stinking pretty out here at the beach. I think we should go uh, walk this jetty. There's no signs that say I can't do it. Yeah, I think it was, I think it was meant for walking, don't you? Texas, you are beautiful, I'll give you that. I don't care for all your politics lately, but uh, <laughs> don't get into that. Dilly dilly, folks. Uh, off in the distance, over here, way over there is that carnival I was talking about. Be cool if it was lit up, but no. I guess they're trying to save energy since, since since she be closed. And I can just plop a seat right, if it wasn't so cold. No, I'm cold, guys. Uh, I just plop a seat right there and sit out here. I missed the sunset because I was in there working on the computer, but look at this, man. I mean, it's no Florida, but it's Texas in its own beautiful, magical way. Pretty stinking cool. guys be well i decided to stay a second night out here and not film tomorrow or tomorrow night so i'm gonna cut this one 
and hopefully have some good news when I get back to Livingston as far as registration. If not, we may be moving forward with a different path. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for joining Jax and I. We'll see you in a few days from Texas. Bye, guys.